Bandai Namco booth for E3 2017. I'm Dalton Link, the community manager for Bandai Namco. Super excited to be sitting here with Stephen Fulyun, the game director for Project Cars 2. Thank you so much for having me. Can you tell us a little bit about the d improvements on the game from Project Cars 1, kind of the evolution from Project Cars 1? Sure thing. So broadly speaking, we've improved everything. We went back to basics and started fresh. We wanted to get a user interface in there that makes the game more approachable. We added a lot of new content, new cars, new tracks, making sure that we have the biggest track roster of any racing game out there on consoles, right? We added um, new game modes, um, new depth to career. We have a primary and secondary career path. The technology that we've added and improved on is significant. It's not just a little evolutionary thing. It is revolutionary what we're doing now with real-time physics simulation of yeah. weather systems. We've done accurate simulation of the celestial bodies and how that affects weather at different times of day yeah. and, and different times of the year. And then the vehicle physics itself significantly enhanced in many yeah. ways. The audio system is significantly enhanced. You're in a good position to take him. Don't take too many risks, but try squeezing past when you can. We're heading into the dust, so start picking out some reference points you can use in the night time. Full positional audio now you can tell exactly where every little squeak and sound on the car is coming from awesome. whether it's your front left tire locking up whether the rear suspension is slightly damaged you can hear yeah. all of that so i know one of the uh, the big things for project cars too and i know the tagline is built by drivers so i know you've been working with a lot of professional drivers to kind of enhance yeah. the the authenticity and kind of the feeling of the game can you talk about that experience of working with the drivers and kind of how that affected the development process in, in Project Cars 2, we have new motorsport disciplines. In, on top of what we had in Project Cars 1, we, it was mostly tarmac racing, all exclusive tarmac racing. Yeah. We now have loose surface racing, and we also have new motorsport disciplines that have significantly different physics when you do normal racing versus GT like we have the IndyCar license and so on so we wanted to make sure that we represent each one of these disciplines accurately from a driver's perspective yeah. who's actually taken part in these in the in in the simulation so we brought the real world race drivers from various aspects from these different motorsport disciplines on board and they continuously provide us of course with a feedback loop where they tell us exactly how the car should be handling in different weather conditions when it feels right in dry versus yeah. maybe not quite there in yet wet yet so what the time the yeah time exactly detail, right? and of course in addition to this we also work very closely with the factory drivers for yeah. the various licenses that we have in the game so that we can have them play test it and give us feedback so we can continuously tweak and make improvements so that when the end user gets to play with these cars in project cars 2 it is as an authentic experience as what you can get out there Lifetrack is our internal technology. We've been developing this for the last one and a half decades. Lifetrack technology basically is all about what happens with the surfaces on which you race. Yeah. To get that as dynamic and as organic as what technology allows us to do. So to simulate that as accurately as what we can to match real life. Yeah. Okay, so we have all the weather conditions, we have all the seasonal changes, we have all these things happening and the life track stuff simulates how that affects the actual track surface in addition to your vehicle. Well, thank you so much for stopping by. We really appreciate oh, you uh, coming, in, coming out and uh, answering the questions. I know the fans are super excited about the game, so can you tell us a little about the, the release window and kind of when we can expect to hit the track? Yes, September the 22nd is our official release date. We have a much enhanced multiplayer experience so people can from day one get in there and start earning an online reputation. Because oh, we have a reputation system now that tracks. It's a ranking system that tracks how you race, how you drive, how well you behave, whether you wreck or whether whether you drive neatly and it will automatically in the matchmaking system start to match you with other like-minded people so where people before stopped playing multiplayer because it's a frustrating experience with people just wrecking yeah now they will be automatically match made with people who play like them so that's already just a huge big deal for us yeah as that's well. great so day one i can jump in build my rank become the driver i want to become yes yeah. <laughs> that's awesome. the plan well steven thank you so much for stopping thank by you. i really appreciate it nice thank talking you for to your you time. likewise